So, after I've been to a few parks, I've decided I don't want to work out in a public park. So I decided that I'm going to make a park in my backyard. And so I have the materials here that I went and purchased at Home Depot. I got three 4x4s by 10 foot. I have some short, uh, well it doesn't matter how long it is. It really depends on preference of how far you, how much you want. Then I have like a four foot pull up bar there. And these are gonna be my parallel bars, which was a, a 10 foot pipe galvanized, cut in half. And then I have two elbows and they're gonna go into the ground and attach to the pillars here. Um, I use these flanged ends because I figure that's the nicest, easiest way to attach it to the posts. And uh, I have these nylon rope and stakes so once we get it up I can hold it up there while we cement it and make sure it stays level and everything. Pink Carey's working with me today, Mr. Contractor, and we're gonna get shit done. So first we're gonna lay everything down on the ground and assemble it so we know how far apart our uh, posts are and this is basically what it looks like. You kind of got get the idea going on. Uh, pull up bar and then these two for like being able to do flags and the uh, the parallel bars are going to attach somewhere on these posts so you can use these other ones is for like incline push-ups other things which we'll see what we can do later but yeah this is the beginning of it now that we have the bars in place and everything's bolted up as far as the pull-up bars and uh, so once we do we gotta yeah here's the finished product of at least most, most of it bolted together so we know our distances. Now we're gonna put it where we want to and dig holes at the end of the jaunts, yeah. So we dug our holes, they're two foot down, and I have all these rocks I saved that I'm gonna kinda use them to stabilize it somewhat before we throw concrete into the mix here. And we'll, we'll get a better picture of when it's done. <laughs> so we forgot we had to dig two more holes to make the parallel bars. We got them down two feet as well. And now we're just trying to level it up so we can actually get it straight. So it's like 7.40, it's getting dark out here. Finally have the concrete down in there. And Alex is tying it up so that it stays level. So while it sets, it'll be where we want it. And I'll take another video when it's nice and dry and brighter outside. So it's been a little while since I finished this rig. And uh, few things that I had to I had to redo a few things this one hole that has the uh, the independent beam it wasn't centered in the hole when we did it and so therefore when we poured the concrete it didn't go all the way around it and so when it dried I started to use it and it got really wobbly almost like a loose tooth and I dug down and realized that it just didn't never got to the one side so if you're gonna do it yourself, make sure you got concrete all around it. And uh, here is what it looks like finished. It's got everything in the ground, all pat down. And it's nice. I've used it a couple times now. And it's a lot of forearms <laughs> with some of these calisthenic workouts. And it's really fun, I enjoy it. It's nice being out. I'm usually waking up like real early to do it and whatnot, but uh, if you ever want to join me, let me know. We can do some calisthenics together. 